Hello everyone and welcome to COD Spotlight, a new feature where we feature a member of the church and just talk to them about their journey and what they enjoy most about being a member of the church here. So for our first edition, I am joined by Minister Deji. Make some noise for him. Woo, woo, woo. So thank you so much for agreeing to be in the hot seat today. The spotlight is on you. Um, my first question is just introduce yourself and what you do in the church. My name is Ayo Deji. Show me um, a member of the choir. Whoosh. Um, and I'm also a head of department for the event. Whoosh! Team. And what else? Uh, and Don't I be humble now, come on. Do a lot of other things really, you know, here and there. So there's more has to do with working with uh, Pastor Kingsley a lot with him. So it's quite a lot, but mainly now I'm focusing more on the choir. Great. And as you can see, he's really doing a good job in the choir. So how many years have you been involved at COD? Or just been a member? Joined start? City of David in December 2010. That's a long time. Long. A long time. And what drew you to the church? What made you start coming? Just share your story. Do we need Quite a, a funny story, okay. really, because um, a friend of ours came from Luxembourg and other friends came to stay over at the house then were living at Plumstead in London and she came to visit she that friend already stays um, comes to this church so she said that the church were having a I think it was like an anniversary or the choir was doing something and she said oh why don't you guys come and I was really like oh you know I can't even go and then we hmm. got to church that Sunday that was the Sunday that I think the Sunday of the Sunday after the church got to the Commonwealth buildings and we got there the choir made me stay to the end of the service a um, sign of things to come and then you know, there was a call for, you know, can you please give? I said, oh, here we go. Give for the chairs, give for the carpet and everything. Um, but once I left the church that day, I made up my mind that I was not coming back. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I made up my mind that I was coming. <laughs> I made up my mind that I was not coming wow. back. Wow, okay. Um, in fact, I wrote, um, it was my wife now woman's number that i put down then as my number and so no one could get through to me but pastor titi kept calling and calling and calling and then she'll say oh why don't you come for the wednesday service this week why don't you come on sunday and then i came back the next sunday and then i came back the following sunday and then i got called one day a very weird call from uh, Pastor Tokuma and said that oh they wanted to make me the head of department for uh, singles I was like these people are out of their mind but well everything is history now so one thing led to another one thing led, you knew yes, it and one thing led to another and then I started working with Pastor and I had a connection with him and well everything is history and when did you start singing in the choir Okay. Stop growling. Wait, um, just pause. I, Can we just pause? If you ever hear him, you know, we have a special nickname for him, but if you ever hear him when he's leading his praise and worship, he likes to, you know, growl, a man of the spirit, a man that loves to worship God. When did this journey start with you here at this church? At this church, it started a few years ago. Okay. Um, I've always known that I meant to be in the choir, but when I joined City of David, it was, well, looking back now, I think it was pride. Because I looked at the choir and I thought, oh, I can sing in the choir, I can sing. Let me see if I can do other, other things. things. And then I went to do other things and I got hooked with other things. But then as time went on, I realized, you know, it was like, I was just being called, you know, like three years ago, just, you know, let me give in. I joined the choir. Been here since then. I'm glad you gave in. So, 
what are some of the highlights? You've been here for a long time. Yes. If you can remember, that's almost a decade, isn't yes. it? So yes. can you just give us a few highlights? Um, well, I of think COD? one of the major things the highlight is if I didn't join City of David, I don't think I will be married now. Wow. Um, so you met, did you meet her no, at the church? or how did No, you we met before we joined City of David, but... Um, the pastors called me, there was pastor of women that called me then and she said, oh, what are my plans? Like, what plans? For, you know, you and Bumi, what plans do you have? I said, well, we're going to get married one day. How? I don't know. But he said, what's stopping you? I said, I don't like the whole big marriage thing. Mm. Doing, he said, why don't you do it this year? Having in mind, I joined December 2010. So this is fast forward like February, no, what am I talking about? Late 2011. Okay. So do it this year, I'm like, wow. Oh, this year? <laughs> I'm like, okay. You know, it's not, I knew it's just, it was a matter of time anyway. Mm. So we called Wumi's parents, this is what we want to do, this is how we're doing it. And then Wumi was upset and she was crying. Why um, was she crying? She didn't want to marry you. <laughs> you forced her to marry you. <laughs> no, she was crying because she wanted her parents to be there. Okay. But one thing just led to another. I bought a ring. Aww. I gave her a ring and then... I hope it you just proposed had a, well. Well, what's well? Because I just gave her the ring on the side. Okay, we're going to skip over yes. that part. <laughs> At least she got a ring. Thank God for that. Yeah, so... And then we had a church blessings the December 18th, 2011. So that's my highlight. Mm. You know, I don't think I would have been married if I didn't join, join City of David. Mm. Um, highlights, every week kind of is a highlight here in church. Because you never really know for me, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing until I get to church. Mm. Um, so it's been good-ish all the way that's amazing and obviously you i think it's fair to say with you that being at city of david has been a journey the person that you are now was yeah. probably not the person that you were when you first joined all those years ago i mean you started off as a bachelor you're now a husband you, yeah. you're now a father i guess i'd love to end this interview by just asking you some of the tips or advice you would give people maybe who were in your position maybe just coming to church not wanting to get involved or maybe in a place in their life where they didn't see themselves as you are now yeah. so established and you know making progress what would your advice be to them um i think what god has helped me with is which i think quite a lot of people that have either joined after i joined or joined before i did but are no longer here is that i kind of understand that my journey with god is not entirely tied with city of david it's tied with my life and relationship with god so my relationship with him is between me and God. Um, a lot of the things I do in City of David, I see it as a service. Because before I joined City of David, a lot of people were doing certain things that made me stay. And that was a service that helped me. And I think that I have to put myself in that the shoes. It's not down to the church entirely to make me grow spiritually it's not down to the church to do a lot of things for me so uh, the church assists helps and i actually get a lot you know like how other christians live their lives as well a bit of advice but ultimately my walk with god really is not 100 percent tied to the church it's a personal work that i have with god himself and i think that is what has helped me so far okay that it's been real thank you so much thank i you mean very much. what i would take away from this is that if you're not married and um you want to be married come to cod <laughs> make sure you get that ring but on top of that as well you know people that were in the service helped you to stay so you're able to give back in that way but then at the same time the onus is on you to grow as right. a christian Deji, it's Absolutely. been real. Thank you so Thank much. You I hope much. you enjoyed our first ever edition of COD Spotlight. See you in the next episode.